What's up my sexy witches? Happy October. It is officially spooky season. No one can tell you different. This is by far my favorite month of the entire year. Give this video a like if it's yours as well. October holds a special place in my heart for a few reasons. Number one, we are 31 long days away from Halloween. Number two, Bay and I's anniversary is in eight days. October 8th, we got married last year. So we're celebrating our one year anniversary by going to a haunted house. So needless to say, I'm a huge Halloweenie. So it's no wonder when Buff Bunny comes out with their little signature Halloween launches. I'm all over it. If you guys remember last year, their Mad Scientist collection, that blew my mind. I was obsessed. I still have all the pieces. I'm gonna be breaking them out again this year. Last year, they were very specific. When you saw their outfits, like the skeleton bodysuit, the Frankenstein sweaters, those are things you're gonna only really wear during Halloween time. But do keep in mind this launch, their Undead collection, there's not as many patterns they're a little more versatile pieces that you can wear throughout the entire season. Now I feel like they still kept the element of spooky, but went a little more neutral so you can wear these pieces throughout the entire season. So Buff Bunny's Undead Collection is gonna be launching Saturday, October 8th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I have a few of my favorite sets to share with you in today's video. Clearly, I'm already wearing one. But first, let's take a look at what they're dropping as a whole. The Undead Collection, they went with a zombie glam theme this year. Those are two polar opposites right there and they just combined it and they're making it work. So let's check out the color palette. Ooh, lots of darks I'm seeing here. But they still kept neutrals. Okay, some light tones. But then, but then the best part, these patterns. I really wish I got the Argyle pattern. I regret not asking for that. Why didn't I? There's three main fabrics we're we'll looking at in today's video, all of which I have in today's video, by the way. We have classic Nubre, the Energy, and Elysium. So let's see what signature pieces we have. We have the Rosa Legging Samba. Wow, that looks like underwear on the outside. Hell Razor Viper Rebel, Rebel V2. Rebel Short, I was totally gonna go with that pattern. The triggered print pattern, but just from the model wearing it, it looked like the fabric was fading. So I kind of steered it clear from that. We have the Wave Short, Legacy Short, Alpha Sports Bra, which is really dope. I love that Argyle print. This Argyle print is reminding me of like a haunted carnival or like a Harley Quinn. Anybody else? We have the Candy Wrap Sports Bra showing its face back now. That was a hit. That bra sold out so fast. You remember that? In the Sugar Rush collection? Well, now it's back. Got one in Midnight Navy because you're gonna see a little bit of mix and matching. Hellraiser Crop Top, Revolution Sports Bra V2, Rosa Sports Bra V2, Revolution Sports Bra V2. I got that black and gold Viper set. Ivy Crop Top, which was so beautiful, I had to get it. Heartbreaker Sports Bra. When I saw this, I, I've never tried the Heartbreaker Sports Bra before. I know this isn't a new sports bra necessarily, but it's new to me. And I was very, very eager to try it out because that is one sexy sports bra. Spice Crop Jacket, I love their spice jacket. In case you don't know, it's like a full on stretchy mesh, very breathable, but I didn't get one in this launch because I'm actually steering away from crop jackets. I realized that the past few years of wearing them, I always froze to death. So I like full jackets now at the moment. <laughs> and last but not least, the Seven Seas top. I got one in black to go with anything, of course. I will insert the Q&A that they gave just in case you are curious about any of the pieces, the compression and things like that. I will have my discount slash support code down below in the description box for you. This does save you 10% off any Buff Bunny order. Huge thank you if you decide to use my code. Helps this channel out big time and keeps these videos coming your way. All right guys, let's check out the first set. You already know, I gotta conjure up this one. Oh, mood ring. This is made out of their Elysium fabric. So that really, really wet feel. I think the color name they chose, Mood Ring, was so perfect for this. You got some pinks, some purples, some blues, real dark, rich navy blue in here. Like, there's so much going on in this shiny legging. Half of me is like, this looks like a crystal ball. The other half of me is like, this is something Britney Spears would wear at one of her shows. Now I know what you're thinking, oh my God, that is a lot of holographic. That's way too much shine for one person's body. If you're thinking that, it's all good because sometimes I won't be in the mood for this much shine. So that's why I grabbed the Candy Wrap Sports Bra Midnight Navy, just to mix and match because look at that. Okay, you wanna tone down the set, 
this is how you do it. So this is made out of their new Bray fabric, real soft to the touch. It's official. This is the coolest set I've ever put on my body. I mean, look at me shine. <laughs> if you look really up close, there's like millions of dots that make up this pattern. This would actually be awesome for those who go to festivals maybe. I've never been to one, but if I did, I'd wear this. Halloween party, you wanna glam up a little bit. This is that set. Starting with the sports bra. I have to let it be known, I sized down to an extra small in every single sports bra today. Like I said before, their sports bras tend to run a little bit big, get a little bit bulky. They use thick material for the most part, so it just kind of looks big on me. So I learned my lesson and I sized down. So with this sports bra, size down to an extra small, and I'm not gonna lie, it was actually a little bit tight to get on. Go figure. And it starts to feel a little bit tight on my shoulders. If I could do it over again, I would have just stuck with my size small. I mean, ain't that how it goes though? You finally try something different and then you're like, shit. But this is why this review is hopefully helpful for you. So check out my measurements in the description box if we're similar. I would stick to your true size with this. Other than that, there's a really good amount of support. Look at this, in case you're dancing the night away. I love this cleavage, I'm living for it. You got really thick straps, no adjustments. You do have removable bra pads though. This right here is not a band, it is just a little lip of material. So you know what that means, right? Let's shorten this bra up a little bit. <laughs> Why not? Show a little bit of that sexy skeleton rib cage. Oh, that feels good. So let's talk about the leggings. I stuck with my true size small. These are the type of leggings that really are not very breathable. The Elysium fabric retains heat. It is for sure not something I'm sweating in. No way, no how. I feel like it'd be very uncomfortable to do so. Comment down below if you've ever sweat in this and wore it to the gym so I can applaud you. With that being said, it can be a little bit stiff. I think if it was any tighter, I would have had to size up. But I wouldn't want to do that because with this particular material, if you size up too big, this is the type that would wrinkle on you and just look funny. So I'm cool with my true size small with this. This is gonna sound weird, but I actually look at my glutes. My glutes look okay. Then I'm like, all right, this is doable. If they look like pancakes, that's how I know. I gotta size up. Buck Bunny's really good at making non-seamless pieces look seamless. The flow, the fabric, the glute enhancing seams, their placement on things are really thought out, which is why I love rocking them because I feel very confident wearing these pieces. Too much shine, is the glare getting to you? No problem, I got you. And the verdict is a size extra small in the Candy Wrap Sports Bra, working well for me. So sizing down was good. Now you do have adjustments on this bra. So if you're in between, sizing down might be an option because you can adjust it. Like I had to adjust these straps when I put it on because it was like really snug. Now I feel okay. Now do keep in mind, the adjustments are only on the straps, not on the sides here. So what do we think about this combo right here? Totally doable, right? You absolutely have that midnight navy throughout this legging depending on which way you go, <laughs> but it's there. You got the shine and then you got more of a matte look up top. I think the candy wrap is such a pretty sports bra. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I think it's my favorite sports bra from Buff Bunny. When I got it in the Sugar Rush, I was sold immediately. Now that I've sized down and I can feel it fit a lot better, I love it even more. You have the twist front right here, super flattering, really cute, intricate little detailing, and I love the strappy back. What I love about Buff Bunny is they tend to do a lot of thicker straps, so it's very comfortable for all day wear. Do me a favor, drop a comment below. Are we team full shine or team mix and match? Mellow it out a little bit. Let me know. Set number two, let's see what it do. Trick or treat, bitch. Oh, gold viper, I was hoping it was you. <laughs> Acting like I didn't know what was in here. <laughs> We're looking at the Rebel Legging V2 and the Revolution Sports Bra V2. Oof. This is one snake print that is just unforgettable when you look at it. So it says that this is made out of nylon and spandex. This feels just like the Elysium, just like it. I feel like you can really see the print for what it is in this specific color palette. I feel like the gold and the black is really eye-catching. I wanted something with a really dark contrast, something black as the background to fit the season better. Now, normally you wouldn't catch me in something like this, but when it's October, when it's spooky season, anything goes. The spookier, the weirder, the better. With every shiny set, you have to have the option to mellow it down. So you need an additional piece to go with it. Enter in the seven C's crop top. Matches the black in here, makes sense. Matches my new hat from Salem. 
which is also found on Amazon for a lot cheaper than what I paid for it. So I'll have this link down below. There's a nice seamless matte border around the zipper here if you look closely. Let me see what it looks like. Yes, and then you got the clasp up top. Oh, it's gonna be so sexy. Do not size down <laughs> in these shiny prints, do not. I am two for two right now. I definitely struggled beyond belief to get this bra on. Now once it's on, sure, it looks great, right? But to get it on was such a chore, I don't have time for that. I'm gonna say right here and right now, if we have similar measurements and you're in between sizes, I suggest sizing up rather than down. This will give you an idea of how much stretch is in it. I also wanna make mention that the inside of these shiny leggings have a nice black underneath, which means there's zero pattern fade. So when you're swatting in this, it doesn't get awkward and see through. So this sports bra is a little bit different than the other one. You got a lot of straps going on, but it's not adjustable as well. Again, we have the flap. You already know what time it is. Ooh, the reason I do that, to be honest, is because it makes my torso look longer and I have a very short torso. So I kind of need all the help I can get. So this strap starts out real chunky and then goes into a bunch of different thinner straps. They don't add thin straps right here that dig in. They keep it nice and thick and comfortable. And then they go ahead and add in all the pretty little straps for the detail. So yeah, again, you have the real foil print. You can feel that foil like ultra slippery. It's not that kind of material where you put it on your skin and you're cold. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like Halloween costumes sometimes are so slippery that you put them on and you feel like you're wet and cold. Even though this has that wet feel on the outside, the foil does that, it doesn't feel cold and wet. Same with the mood ring, it's actually super insulating. This is something I'd wear Halloween night. I don't know about you, but sometimes we get snow on Halloween here in New Jersey. So these are actually pretty toasty. So same deal, just like the mood ring. I mean, I'm sticking with my true size small bottoms and it's working. Sometimes I get questions about my gothic accessories that I have, like the rings. I buy all of my Halloween accessories from Spirit Halloween. Sure wonder. Oh, I love this top. Oh my God, I love this top. There's no support on this. This is just an overlaying crop long sleeve. No bra pads, no built-in bra. You definitely have to wear something underneath. So this is actually working perfectly. You get a little pop of that gold. So this is relatively thick, thicker than I thought. This, ooh, it's soft, I like it. It's definitely that wicking kind of fabric. This little clasp is what makes it though, without a doubt. You can zip it up, cool. But if you wanna add some pizzazz, that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I think you could get away with working out in this. If you wanna wear a more like a sporty yet chic, sexy kind of crop top to the gym, I highly suggest the seven C's. I think this is a hit for sure, especially with these gold viper leggings. Are you serious right now? Thank you. That's one ugly ass fuck mask. Come here, Frankenstein. Show the world, show the world what you are. Ooh, I put a spell on you. Now you're mine. So to mix things up, I had to get a few pieces in the Avo green. I'm a huge fan of this green. So when they have pieces available, I'm likely to snag them. Now granted, this isn't so Halloween-y. I already did my part with that. Now I want some pieces that I'm gonna be wearing throughout the season. This is where these came in. They're a lot toned down, a lot more mellow. Keep in mind, all three pieces are in the color avo green. However, different materials. We have the Heartbreaker sports bra, beautiful. The Legacy short. Big fan of legacy anything from them. In fact, the legacy leggings and shorts are probably my favorite bottoms from Buff Bunny ever. So we're looking at the Nubre fabric in the bottoms. Love it, because it's that yogi, super buttery soft second skin feel. And then we're looking at the Elysium in the sports bra, which is why this would be super gym friendly and not gonna suffocate me with thick material. A lot of Buff Bunny's bras tend to be thick and bulky. This one's actually a lot thinner and looks like it'd be gym friendly for me. They were pretty spot on with the avocado green matching. Wait a minute, these are two different shades. However, when you take a look at the ivy crop top, it's not the same shade. There's a little bit more of a blue tint in the ivy crop avo green. Like I said, it could be because of the different fabric. This is their energy fabric, super soft, buttery soft. It feels like the new braid to me, just saying. In case you're wondering what it's like, nubre all the way. <sighs> now this is more of a relaxed fit for me. Starting with the top, first of all, I think the design is so beautiful. I love the keyhole cutout. 
I actually really like the fact that the trim is a band, like an elastic band. I think that's really cool. The trim goes all the way up into the straps. It's all one thing. I have removable bra pads and it is adjustable. I size down to an extra small again. This time it's absolutely working. I'm glad I did. Because if this was a small, I have a feeling like right here would be gaping a little awkwardly. The back is relatively simple. There's no digging or anything. So I'm really glad because you never know when you size down. Is there gonna be uncomfortable digging? Not feeling it here. So this is actually something I might consider working out in and seeing how it holds up. Because when I'm bending over, there's nothing slipping and sliding. So I think this might be gym friendly for me. The Legacy, the Nubre, so, so soft. I say it every time, the Legacy is a no brainer for me. I actually got the shorts in a medium. I like to size up in tight fit shorts because there's no cinching, perfect. I know Buff Bunny has many types of new braid leggings, very similar, some with a pocket, the Rosa pocket, things like that. I steer towards the Legacy particularly for the glute contour, because you have not one, not two, but three seams that contour the glutes. And it just makes the glutes look perkier. So that is why I stick to the classic Legacy. Now let's try on that Ivy crop, you know, the one that's tinted differently. <laughs> So you remember when I just got done saying that Buff Bunny's really good for having heavy duty thick straps? Good for all day wear. I mean, I take that back because now I'm rocking a thin strap. It's very comfortable though. I'm not even feeling it dig at all. Yes to the extra small in this. Okay, so there's a trend here. So for those who don't want so much booby in the face, <laughs> this crop is perfect. Now this is a, a going out crop if you ask me. This can duel as that. The real eye catcher is the back. Look at that. That's a lattice, they call it. <laughs> I read it before. Something I want to note though, there's an actual seam on the bottom of this. It's not just a normal lay of fabric like you've seen in the other longer style pieces. This particular crop top has a seam and I can feel it cinching in ever so slightly. It's crazy, it's like a bulky seam going on right here. Super low support. This is more of a show top or do yoga in. Don't even think about doing cartwheels in this. All right, it's your turn. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on the new Buff Bunny Undead collection? I think it's pretty dope. I like the fact that they added in some seriously eye-catching pieces, but still added in their signature toned down pieces as well. This way, Everybody's happy. Now I know this isn't as Halloween-y as last year, but I do feel like this is going to be a little more receptive to everybody. I feel like this is gonna be a little more hit than last year because these are pieces you could wear throughout the entire cooler month season and not just for a week before Halloween. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much if you do use my code GATA at checkout to save 10%. Really do appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I'll catch you in my next video.